In the previous video, we have manufactured our own Arduino and solder all the needed components. If you didn't see the video, you can find the link in the description below. So far, the Atmega chip has no code, and we can't use Arduino IDE to upload sketches directly. In this video, I'm going to test the board power circuit first and then teach you how to download a sketch to Atmega chip by two methods. One of them will convert our board to Arduino Nano, so stick around. This video is brought to you by JLC PCB, the manufacturer for PCB for more than 10 years. It's the site that I use for all my PCBs. Upload your Gerber files to order high quality PCBs for very low prices with a shipping discount on the first order. Turn your design into real boards to make your projects look more professional. The first step after having our board soldered is to test the power supply voltage. If I connect the board to the USB, the chip should receive a 3.3 voltage provided by the regulator, and this is what we found. Now for the programming circuit. Some of you are aware of how to upload a sketch from Arduino IDE to Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano or Arduino Pro Mini or any other versions. It is simply by connecting one of the Arduino boards via USB cable and then define the COM board and then press upload. It will take a few seconds to combine the sketch and then upload it. The TX and RX LEDs blinking on the board indicate whether and when the upload process is happening. If you selected another version of Arduino, this will result in freezing the uploading process, which means that the programming has not been successful. That is weird, how each board has the same Atmega chip, but they are defined differently. We will discover that. Back to our new board, what we have on it is an empty chip and it's not yet ready as Arduino board. So how can we upload a sketch to it? Simply, there are two ways of uploading a sketch to an empty chip. There is a universal method which called the in-circuit serial programming ICSP or ISP. This method uses a special programmer which communicate with the chip by pins MOSI, MISO, SCK, and the reset pin, and uses SPI protocol to upload the sketch. By this way, we don't need to tell the Arduino IDE which Arduino board we have, because it doesn't matter, we are uploading using an external programmer. Here I have a common one you can find on the internet, which is USB Tiny ISP programmer. Connect it by the correct orientation to our board and then upload a sketch. For example, you can upload the blank sketch by choosing the menu tools, then programmer USB Tiny ISP. Afterwards, click the menu sketch and then click upload using programmer. There is another method which reads off that programmer, but it requires the manufacturer to upload something called bootloader. The bootloader is a small code which enables the Atmega chip to communicate via the serial communication pins TX and RX. By this way, we don't need the external programmer anymore. The bootloader will receive the sketch and save it in the chip flash memory. Now each board has its own bootloader which communicates with the PC differently depending on the board rate. That is why we should tell the Arduino IDE about the board. Now let's upload the Arduino Nano bootloader to our chip. We can do that by using the USB Tiny ISP for just once and connect it to our board. Then by choosing the board we want, we can then click on Burn Bootloader. This process also takes a few seconds and now we have converted our board to Arduino Nano. It is ready now to communicate via TX and RX pins which are included in another connector called FTDI. FTDI simply is a USB to serial converter pins because most of the modern PCs and laptops don't have serial port. So after I connect my converter to the FTDI pins, I can now upload the blank sketch again by choosing the nano board and then click upload. It's clear that our board accepted the sketch and run the code, then it's blinking now. I hope you are able now to use both ways of programming and to manufacture your personal Arduino. I want to add more features to my board to make it unique. Please comment below with any ideas. If you like this video, share, like and subscribe and see you next time.